what's up, everybody? How y'all doing today? You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all taking care of y'all stuff today, my good people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. Smack that dough bell for me, baby. You heard me? Keep God first, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, let this video take off. I'm going to play catch it by the end, baby. Let's go. At all, you ain't knocked on my door. Oh. I found out at 630 I get a phone call saying that she was stabbed. My son said I'll go up there and check because I was at work. And he texted me and said that she didn't make it. Friday, I went to the police station and I wanted to know what's going on. How come no one's knocked on my door? No police, nobody's contacting me. I don't know, no, I don't even know where my baby at. I ain't seen her since this all happened. She just had the little girl, so she was very thrilled about that. She been one a girl. 29-year-old Devonna Walker was a devoted mother who enjoyed both having fun and spending time with her kids. Devonna lived in a neighborhood where her neighbors harassed her. Before being killed by Shane Teslick, a man she had numerous disputes with, she felt insecure in her own house for a number of weeks. Before we begin this video, we would like to express our deepest sympathies to the family and friends who were severely affected by this horrible crime. We would also like to send condolences to Devana's family and friends. Marion. Marion is a city located in Lynn County, Iowa. The city has a population of around 40,000 residents. Marion is situated in eastern Iowa, near the Cedar River, and is part of the Cedar Rapids metropolitan area. Iowa ranks first in beef, pork, corn, soybean, and grain production. One Iowa family farm grows enough food and fiber to feed 279 people. The cost of living in Iowa is 5% lower than the national average. I really like, I really, really dislike some people in Iowa. Like how I feel right now, I got the boxing gloves. Let's do it. I got a big ass backyard. Let's do it. Anybody at this point right now. On February 12th, 1994, Devonna Walker was born. She was regarded as a cherished mother, sister, friend, and daughter by her family and friends. A Her three children, two boys and one girl, are 14 years old, 7 years old, and 3 months old. Her life had turned around, and she was a recent convert to religion. Devana was practical and honest. Being with her children was Devana's greatest pleasure. They were everything to her. I did. Yep. Because of her race, Devana's neighbors would harass her in their neighborhood, and for a few weeks at least, she didn't feel safe in her own house. She had received threats and derogatory remarks from a neighbor. Devana had gotten into fights in the past with her neighbors, a white couple who said they also wanted her dead. Walker was with her mother on December 21st when her male neighbor's pit bulls attacked them and used derogatory language. Shane Teslick lives next door to Devana Walker. It is stated that during a dispute on December 19th, 2022, Walker assaulted Teslick's partner, who was married to Teslick. Following Devana's assault on him and his wife in December, Shane said he'd kill her if she approached his home or family. In that exchange, Taslik used the same racial slur to refer to Walker. Due to her lack of desire to be at home and her sense of insecurity, Devana opted to stay at a hotel with a friend during the final week of December 2022. On January 2nd, 2023, a man unlocked an apartment's front door and said, please just get inside, as Walker, wearing a red shirt, looked to be fighting with a white woman wearing a black sweater. With her dog leashed on the front lawn, the woman in the black sweatshirt continued to rant at Walker, ignoring the man. The woman exclaimed that Devana had to leave because no one wanted her around there after Devana answered her with an inaudible comment. The woman was then shoved down in front of the entryway by Walker. Walker was then instantly stabbed by the man. After the stab, 
the woman's dog jumped up at her, and she fell to the grass, accusing Walker in a sarcastic tone of fabricating her wounds. According to reports, the woman claimed that Walker was being foolish, leaving her alone, and acting as though the dog was attacking her. It took onlookers a few minutes to understand that Devana had been stabbed and was bleeding. Walker was found on the ground with a stab wound when Catarapids police officers got at the scene at 6.44 p.m., or roughly six minutes after she had slumped. After giving her CPR and taking her to the hospital, they declared her dead. The police took the man and woman into custody, but they were eventually released. A Cedar Rapids man has been charged by prosecutors for allegedly fatally stabbing a black mother of three during a furious altercation that was captured on an Alviro video. Following his arrest, Shane Teslick, 37, was accused of disorderly conduct and willful manslaughter, a Class C felony. A minimum $13,000 fine and a possible 10-year jail sentence are associated with voluntary manslaughter. Nearly two months after a woman stabbed to death in northeast Cedar Rapids. The investigation prompted local activists to demand an arrest in the case. The stab on January 2nd, killed 29-year-old Devana Walker at her apartment complex. Now this man, 37-year-old Shane Teslick, is charged with voluntary manslaughter and disorderly conduct. A week after the stabbing, TV9 received a video that showed what happened. It shows Walker, the man police say is Teslick, and another woman shouting at each other in a doorway. At one point, it appears to show Teslick shouting a racial slur at Devana Walker. Walker ultimately runs up behind the other woman involved, which is when she stabbed. KCRG TV9's Molly Swain spoke to Lynn County Attorney Nick Maybank after he announced the charges. She joins us now live at the county courthouse. Molly. That's right. There has been a lot of public scrutiny in this case. Protesters called Devonna Walker's killing an act of racism, and they questioned why no one was arrested the night of the incident. But Lynn County Attorney Nick Maybanks has said he's used to public scrutiny and that it did not affect the decision to charge Teslick. He did, however, say there are many facts in this case that make it different from other ones. Iowa Stand Your Ground law was a prominent part of the investigation, saying that the video showed Walker was a, quote, voluntary participant in the altercation, and that she he was the one who initiated physical contact. Maybank said the voluntary manslaughter charge was for incidents that would be murder, except they were done with extenuating circumstances and under a, quote, sudden irresistible passion. It was a complicated case, but again, Maybanks emphasized it was handled no differently than any other. I absolutely push back on any notion that this, treat, this case was treated differently based upon the race of the individuals involved. I'm no stranger to public pressure. I've been doing this for 23 years. And one thing I've learned is that you don't make decisions based on public pressure. And you certainly don't make decisions based on a demand for an arrest. That's not how this process works. I respect the right of the protesters to protest and to express their grievances with the criminal justice system. However, none of that played any role in this decision. All right, my good people, you know what I'm saying? Teslick is in you custody know. in Clay County. He'll be transported pretty, in the next few days to appear in a Lynn County courtroom. Once he you appears, there'll be a decision on whether he'll face bond or how much that will be. In Cedar Rapids, Molly Swain, KCRG, TV9 News. May the family of Devin Walker find... She liked it, but you know what I'm saying? I don't know if she had them boxing gloves for them or what. You feel me? But to me, you know what I'm saying? She knew she had somebody racist, and she knew she had to keep watching the back. So she didn't feel comfortable. She felt still comfortable because to me, she said she liked it. You know what I'm saying? But by this dude, and what get me when the police say that I've been doing this 20 years. I wouldn't care you would do for 40 years, partner. If somebody put some eye on somebody or whatever, you feel me? You supposed to have somebody really controlling the neighborhood that they're in, especially if she came and told you that people threatened her, you know what I'm saying, these people racist, and you know what I'm saying, and I know they hear woo 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 you feel me? Your job is supposed to still have someone least parked out there, I'm going to tell you how long this to stop, and these police need to quit doing what they're doing. You feel me? I don't care how long you've been on the force. I don't care nothing about how long you've been a detective. None of that. I don't care nothing about that. You feel me? Because, mind you, if it, were the, if it was one of y'all people 
police, and he get the same treatment, right, from a black dude, and he's an officer, right, and he white, right? If he get the same treatment living in a black neighborhood that's pressured against white folks, right, y'all will have four, five police car control in that neighborhood. You know why? To watch his back. To make sure nothing don't happen to him. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? It was a black police. Y'all might try to do it. But you probably won't want to do it. You feel me? Because some of y'all still racist. I don't care what that police say. He probably got a different type of. You know what I'm saying? A, a, a figuration about. You know what I'm saying? He probably don't like black people himself. You feel me? Because you going to really treat your officer to the utmost respect by watching his back to make sure nothing don't happen to him. If it was a white dude and you press, of course. You live in a black neighborhood? Oh, yes, of course. You're going to have six cars. You're going to have them, you're going to have one car, two car control that neighborhood while everybody else out. Because you ain't going to want nothing to happen to your officer, right? So what make y'all think, because your officer, y'all better than us? Do the same. That, little, that lady, that young lady should have got the same treatment. And like her mama say, y'all ain't perform, y'all ain't giving no call, y'all y'all ain't telling her nothing, man. You feel me? That's why I say, man, you know what I'm saying, man? People can sit behind that desk. They can talk all they want to talk. You feel me? You still got some racist activity going on in this world, man, in that police force. You take that, I don't care, you still got racist in that area, too. You feel me? FBI, you still got racist in that area, too. You feel me? They just ain't, you know what I'm saying, they ain't been noticed right, they ain't been showing it. You feel me? But you got some pressure for people, man, in different type of position that they in. You know what I'm saying? Police, detective, FBI, GBI, you know what I'm saying, the Fed, all that. You feel what I'm saying? Man, I'm going to tell y'all something, man. I be peeping game, you know what I'm saying? I just don't really, I be, I be saying a lot. Then I be, I be saying a lot, but I be seeing a lot, too, at the same time. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I know how certain stuff be, be operating. You feel what I'm saying? Most people don't catch on what I catch on, but I catch on. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm used to being the streets a lot back in my day. So I know what type of gimmick that what they do because I don't see a lot of underhand cricket stuff, man, that the police, they do, man. You know what I'm saying? And they sit behind, go home, and talk about it. You feel me? I'm going to tell you something. We used to have a guy, I think his name was Mr. Otis. i never forget his name. He was a uh, he was a detective. Yeah, he was a detective. And we used to go work at his house. You feel me? He was a black dude. You feel what I'm saying? And he used to tell us. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I was a jit then, but I was still doing my thing, but he ain't know. But I was a jit. I used to go to work with him and still do my thing, but he ain't know, right? But... He used to tell us, you know what, someone be doing inside, you know what I'm saying, everything, post everything. That's how, I, you know what I'm saying, I get to learn a lot because I don't be around people talk about the other people's. You feel me? And this here, man, it's crazy, man. But anyway, my good people, you know, uh, y'all can go over to my boy channel right here. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Uh, showing some love. Tell him, man, you know what I'm saying? Since y'all over there, you heard me, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh. I like showing people channel on my channel, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? I don't act for nothing, you dig what I'm saying? And, you know, and I know people be subscribing back to my channel when I subscribe to their channel. That's what you call teamwork. That's what you call somebody. We helping out each other. Ain't nobody being selfish, man. You feel me? So, on this note, my good people, you know what I'm saying? That's the end. I'm going to scratch that. That's all I got for y'all, you know what I'm saying? But y'all know what to do, you know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. And smack that doorbell for me, baby. You heard me? Key God first, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm gone from y'all, baby. I'm gone.